this way. Mr. Oyami, can you please go ahead, please? What uh, the ICANN examination is. So welcome back. So welcome everyone. Sit back and let us enjoy ourselves. But before we actually commence the activities, it is our tradition to always start with God, you know? Everything that we are doing must actually start with God. So I want someone moved by the Spirit to actually lead us in opening prayer before we commence the activity. Anybody? Either Muslim or a Christian, I want someone moved in the Spirit to actually lead us in opening prayer. Okay, sir. So can I take the prayer? Yes, thank you so much. Okay. Let us, pray. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for Amen. life. We thank you for making it possible for us to see today. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your mercies upon our lives. Be that exalted in Jesus' name. Father, we are here to learn. We ask, Lord, that the discussions that shall be made here shall profit us. We ask that you give our speakers wisdom to be able to tell us what to do. And Lord, as we apply these tips, will be will pass our exams successfully with flying colors in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, Ma. God bless you and thank you more for your understanding. Yes. So let us get started. I would like to first of all show the appearance of my evil to thought. Those that have actually been successful over the years, those that have been putting their resources together, putting their energy together to ensure that students actually have the knowledge, the required skills that they need to pass I can exam. And over the years, we have always been taking the glory. I cannot always take lead us to in all the endeavor. Your own diet we shall always shall be a positive testimony by God's grace. Okay. Let me introduce our where are my lecturers. Let me introduce our lecturers. My lecturer speeches are available kindly should be five. Just admit yourself. Just tell us your name. That's all. Where yeah, my sister? Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Before I start with my sister, let me first start with Doris Bam Bam. Bam with the Yes, thank you, man. Can you, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now, sir. Okay, so my name is Bidwan um, Lyani, and uh, yes, sir, we can hear you. Yes, my name is Bidwan Lyani. I am the. I prefer to call myself the admin behind the. Uh, the kind of line to talk or coordinator at some of these. I think uh, there should be some of the call, 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 call us, call me rather. So, please, others should please also introduce themselves.
Okay, my name is uh, Idong Sits Ekanem. I'm one of the lecturers. I teach uh, financial reporting. Mr. Stephen, please introduce yourself. Mr. Stephen, introduce yourself. Okay, while we are waiting for Mr. Stephen to introduce himself, we have Mr. Abdulasi Nada. Can you please introduce yourself? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yonda Abdulasi. I take what I take on CSME in ICANN online Twitter. I welcome you know. We didn't get that. You take CSME and what? CSME and business management and finance. Okay, thank you so much. That is one of our instructors. That is one of our tutors. Now we have Mr. Stephen on board. Mr. Stephen, can you please introduce yourself? Mr. Stephen. Okay, while we are waiting, while we are waiting for Mr. Stephen, let me please use this opportunity to also introduce Good myself. afternoon. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Please go ahead. Okay, okay. My name is Amako. Your network. Oh. I think Mr. Steven is having a network challenge in the So thank you so much. Uh, I think it's having a network challenge in this area. So let me also, while we are waiting for our other tutor, let me use this opportunity to introduce myself that I am Muriyomi Katali and presently I'm handling CRFR and case study. So thank you. Okay, while we are waiting for others, because of the time, let's quickly move to the business of the day, who we are. I can online teaching center. I can online tutor. Okay, sorry, before we ask, let me quickly take the opening remarks from our CEO and managing director of I can online tutor. Our professor, Professor Ridwan, may God bless you for us. Sir, please, we need those many remarks. Okay, thank you, Mr. Riyomi. So, but to clear all doubts, uh, I understand it is out of um, honor you address me by, as a professor. But to clear the air, I'm not a professor, I'm also a student. Like everyone, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do like your teachers. <laughs> so, thank you everybody for joining in. Everybody that has joined in here, thanks so much for being here. So, the essence of the of this um, program is all about letting you know how the ICANN exam is, how you should prepare for it, give you tips on how to pass the exams generally. That's why this diet team was coined out from our motto, which is passing your exams at first attempts. So we made it passing your ICANN exams at first attempt. The idea to start ICANN online tutors was, um, was brought to life about two or three years ago when it was conceived rather about two or three years ago, uh, whereby we wanted to solve a problem of people not having sufficient time to prepare for your uh, exams. You know, this is uh, actually a, kind, a different kind of scenario. It's not like when you were in school, when you were there, you were not working or doing anything and you're committed towards your studies. 
ICANN exam is the kind of exam that requires um, thorough preparation. Hence, time is required to prepare. But as we now have it that some of us are working and some of us are engaged in one activity or the other, we don't have that time at hand. So there's a need for us to strategize so that we can prepare adequately for this exam. That was what brought ICANN Online Tutors to life. And we are bent on ensuring that you pass your exams at first attempt. So our video lectures, we've received positive, positive feedbacks as regards our lectures and how effective it is. So, but it also goes beyond just you attending the classes and watching the video lectures. You must be able to strategize. It's a lot of, um, it, we've already provided you with adequate and sufficient resources. Now it's not left for you to utilize these resources in the best of way. And that is what we, are, we tend to achieve by organizing this seminar. And that's what we, uh, we tend to achieve. That's the problem we, we, we are open to solve by starting ICANN online tutors. And um, I'm sure my tutors have also been striving hard to ensure that you get the best solution ever. So I will um, drop my pen here. I will, um, I will allow Mr. Wiyomi Kasali to continue from there. Thank you so much for joining once again. And we are hoping you have a wonderful session. Thank you so much, Pat. Oh my goodness. I hope all of us can hear from the office's mouth, the brain behind ICANN Tuition Center. Yeah, ICANN Online Tutor is not actually like all those commonest tuition center that you've known, to be sincere. We are set to be the Nigeria's number one ICANN tuition provider online. And the way we provide our tuition classes is for the aspiring chartered accountant. And we use what is known as innovation and technology. That is our major strength. We know the community that we serve. We know the people that we serve. We know that students do not actually have that time. They go to your office Monday to Saturday, or let me say Monday to Friday. Yes, we understand. But we can still my from that Monday to Friday. On Saturday, you now wake up that you're going for a physical tuition center. Okay, let's assume that you go on Saturday, you go on Sunday. My dear, you have nothing to fall back to your phone. Having finished with the classroom on Saturday or on Sunday, the next meeting with you and your tutor, and your tutor is usually in the class, which is the next weekend. And this would not only be happening except you are meeting the lecturer physically. Isn't this so stressful? That's why the idea was actually conceived that how can we actually bridge the gap between the student stress and also achieving your career, balancing the equation between your office activities and your career activities, your work life and your career, balancing them as actually brings up the idea of ICANN online. And as you can see, the next unit. It's not what you can actually get there to. And our vision is to actually be the leading provider of tutorials to professional accounts with students. As we've seen, that our mission is actually a continual is to continually provide tutorials for students using technology advancement and innovation. Like you also know that the method we have been using in achieving our aim is through our video lecture, audio lecture, group chat lecture, as well as our weekly question and answer. Isn't that so exciting? You always have a video lecture to fall back upon at any time. You always have an audio lecture to actually fall back upon at any time. The gap for folks, I, mean, I miss a class, I don't even know what that lecturer has taught. Oh, I've missed, how can I cope? How can I do that? How can I do that? I can't allow us to bridge that gap for you. Doesn't, doesn't it work an approach for the CEO, thank you so much uh, for contributing the idea and thank you so much for solving a problem. Actually, this is a problem solving. God bless you more.
and improves everyone. Thank you so much. Before we actually continue, let me quickly introduce, I have one of my speakers on Zan, but before that, I have my tutor on Zan. Mr. Oluvodu Usman Olumendi. Could you just please introduce yourself, sir? Yeah. Mr. Oluvodu. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, good afternoon, all sir. You are all welcome to this um, wonderful program. You know, the essence of this program is to sensitize us, to educate us on how to pass this exam. So that you know, we we'll use our past experiences, the strategy we use while doing the exam, how to be free of charge, so that you can pass the exam. The Almighty God made this deliberation a successful one. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. I also have one of my keynote speaker on board, Mrs. I don't guess it's Ekanin. Could you please introduce yourself, ma'am? Okay, sir. Uh, my name is uh, Idong Yusuf Obut Ekanem. I teach uh, financial reporting. That's the course I take here on the school platform. Thank you so much for that. This is Ekanem. I don't guess it is actually our first keynote speaker for today. And before that, let me also introduce our other instructor that are on board. If I have not found the question, if I say, okay, let us continue while we are waiting for others. As we progress, I will ask our instructor to actually introduce themselves. As you can see clearly, that our first keynote speaker goes to Mrs. Ekane. And she will be discussing skills required to pass an ICANN exam at first attempt. But before that, but before that, but before that, let me quickly tell us who misses, who Miss I don't get to check her name is. Miss, I don't guess it's a kind of is actually from an archival state and you have the BSc degree in accounting from the University of EU. Wow. She, she is an hour B and she passed her ICANN exam at first attempt. She wrote her skills level exam in May 2019, cleared all the paper. Wrote her professional level in the same year, November 2019, and cleared all paper. Mrs. Ekanen is an award winner that has, already, that has won the best student in advanced audit and national in November 2019 diet. She will be unleashing the strategy, the skills that she used in passing her ICANN exam within just a touch. Wow. Touch skill, clap, play. Touch professional, clap, clap. All within an accounting year, 2019. Isn't that great? Permit me to welcome on board, Mrs. I don't guess it's a comment, to tell us the skills required to pass an ICANN exam at first attempt. You are welcome, Mrs. I don't guess it's on to you. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Um, before I proceed, um, please, it's Miss, not Mrs. It's me, don't mind me. Don't <laughs> mind me. It's because I'm already proposing. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for this opportunity to share some tips with us. I don't take it for granted. Okay. How can we pass the uh, ICANN exams as first attempt or even if not as first attempt, the remaining papers you have? So I'll go straight to the point. The first thing, like I always tell all my students or anyone who has intention of writing the exams is to overcome the fear of ICANN. Uh, I remember when you said the almighty exam, when I indicated interest that I want to write these exams, that was in 2018. So many, many persons discouraged me. In fact, 
I had lots of reasons why I should not write. Okay, I was told I should write a particular exams. That one is easier. Afterwards, I can now proceed to this other one. If not, if I, you know, if I don't do that, I'm going to write and write and write and write and write. And someone even told me I should start from foundation level. You know, as someone that has a BS in accounting, I, I, I'm supposed to start from the second level, that's the skills level. But she said, no, start from the foundation. If not, you'll not be able to pass. I know people that started from skills. Mm -hmm. she, this woman actually did not study accounting. And she said, she now, she, she's not a professional. She has left them in skills and they have been writing and failing up and you know, for all the time. You know, they are still in the same level. The rights papers fail past one out of all and, and the rest of it. But the first thing is that to know that I can exams is difficult. Yes. In fact, mm -hmm. if it's not difficult, how then does it, you know, have so much uh, dignity and content? So something that we say is difficult is something that has rich content. So I can exams is difficult, but it is not impossible to pass. That's the first thing that one must as assimilate. Okay. Other people with the exams and they pass. Fine, we have we still have a lot of persons who are written the exams for five years, for 10 years, and they are still writing, even when it was in PE1 and PE2. We have people that have written the exams and then they've abandoned the exams. Okay, but you need to accept, tell yourself that these exams, even though it is it is a, it's very difficult, but it's possible to pass because it starts with having that confidence. Yes. I, I, my university days, I was not one of those people that you will say with first class. Okay, so you might say, maybe ask yourself, ah, I don't even know book. I, 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 I'm not a very brilliant person in school. I didn't come out with a good grade. It doesn't mean. So the first thing is to overcome the fear of I can exams. I can exams and exams that you can write and you can pass. Okay, so the first thing is overcome the fear of the exams. It is difficult, but it's very possible to pass. And the second one is just assume that you don't know anything. One of my lecturers says to say that first class students don't pass second exams. Why? Because they feel they know a lot. I mean, I mean, I finish with the first class. I mean, come on, <laughs> what I can come and teach me that I don't know. It's not the Sorry, COVID came my school. So you want to go Okay, is it not the, the, the same assets I learned in my university days? I mean, I, I did accounting for four years, different types of accounting, the same financial position, the same profit or loss, and the rest. And you discover that they will not pass. And in fact, there was this lecturer, we, there was this man I knew, he had a first class in, um, from a university, studied accounting. And he wrote ICANN exams and he did not pass any paper at the first sitting. And you know what this man said? He said, How can the ICANN is rubbish? I can scam. How can he write ICANN exams and not pass any paper? It's not possible. I mean, he was an award first class. In fact, I'm sure he was the only person that finished with the first class from his school. But he didn't pass the exam because of overconfidence. So the first thing is you just behave as if you don't know anything at all in accounting. Yes, I had to, I had to learn afresh. I had to learn the meaning of assets. And if you look, watch very closely, the things, the content in ICANN is not the same with what we have from our universities. I mean, if it was the same thing, then there would be no need for us to have ICANN. Okay, so what we learn in our school, in the in uh, tertiary institutions, is also is quite different from what we have in ICANN. Okay, so I'm um, ICANN. I can gives us much more than what we're given in the university. And I can exams is not like our university exams. University exams in a semester, you can have 15 topics as part of as the course outline. And then out of the 15 topics, 10 will be treated in that semester. That's 
over three months. And out of the 10, you may be given five topics as area of concentration. So, I mean, it's easy for you to have your A or at most or at, uh, A or in worst case scenario, your B. But it's not the same thing with ICA. I can't give you, uh, I've not seen any, any text that has minimum of. There's no area of concentration. So you just need to know that there are two different things. So the strategies, maybe when you were in school, you can read once a week and then, you know, you just scale through. But the Nikon exams, things are very different. So you read, you prepare as if you are just getting to know this for the first time in yeah, your life. Okay, then the next thing is read as if you will never visit that topic again. Most of us are working, either we're working or we're students or we're doing one thing or the other. Nobody has enough time. So read as if you will never visit that topic again. If, okay, before I talk about this, let me state that you need to have a reading schedule. When I was writing the exams, I gave myself a target of finishing my pack twice before my exams. So that means the exams was in May and I had to start preparing from January. So I gave myself a task that, okay, I'll finish my pack in February, then March, I'll, be, I'll finish the whole pack again before I have to you know, write exams by May. And that was my target. You know, if you, if you set your target so low, you achieve very little. So my target, I had to now check the chapters I have in my path, I wrote four courses, that's FR, PM, uh, MGE, that's CSME, and public sector. So I have Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesday, Thursdays. So FR on Monday, public sector on Tuesday, on Wednesday, uh, I could have MGE, then on Thursday, I have the almighty PM. So I now told myself every day, I'll read four chapters. Okay, so I can and I decide I can take one chapter early in the morning, another one in the afternoon or evening, or depends on how my schedule was at that particular period. Well, my target was to do four chapters a day. Now, you may not be able to do four chapters a day based on your responsibilities, but you can make yours uh, two chapters. What I'm driving that at is that I, my plan was to finish my study pack twice before the exams. So my plan was to finish it twice, I was not able to complete the pack twice, but I was able to complete it once. That is, I read from chapter one to the end, and I had to start all over again before it was time to you know, write the exams. So I gave myself a very high target that I want to cover my pack. So you can do two, two chapters. Okay, we have two months left, two chapters every day. And then as you're studying, you write. I still have my notes, uh, my notes, my summary notes with me till today. As I'm reading chapter one, I'm writing it down. I'm writing the points down. And then you read, read. the issue we have is that I think you can always have uh, the time, you know, I mean, exams is, is it not next month. I will come back and check this topic is seeming so, be well, you know, read as if you'll never visit that topic again. So as I'm reading this chapter, I have to make sure it enters. If it does not enter, I stand up, room around and come back. And then I'm writing. And as I'm writing, I'm writing down the points. Now, if a particular page has so much point that maybe because I honestly don't even like writing and I'm tired, I will just write down the page number. Maybe for example, it's on system, classification of taxes. And the points here are so much. I'll just write classification of taxes speech 81. If they, I have tables there that I, I cannot start. Or there's a very, I'll just write down each number. number.
she's still with us. Write down the page number. So now every chapter I have a summary that goes with me. So after then, I don't just jump my summaries. I go around with it. So on Monday, if I, I read I read chapter one and two, on Tuesday chapter in, in public sector, another set of chapters, Wednesday and Saturday, Friday. I have it as what I call my general day. I could just, if there's any, any course I couldn't complete the chapters at hand, I'll just, okay, I'll just uh, go through it, try to finish up the target, use that Friday. If there's any particular past question on a topic I've treated, I could just go through it. And then Saturdays and Sundays is the day for me to go for my classes. So the summary, I carry my jottings around. Even as I'm going, I'm on the road, I'm in traffic, there is no, no time is too small or insufficient for me to glance at my notes. So I just, even if it's during a lunch break or any, so long as I can have a few minutes, you just go through your summary. So this tells you not to just be going around with your, your huge part. So and one more thing, when revising your summary, you start from the first page of your notes. What I'm saying is this, for example, I am reading MG. And for this week, for today, I'm reading chapter 10. Okay. Before I start, I'm to start a new chapter in any course. I will revise what I've done already in that same course. For example, today is Wednesday, and I'm to I'm, I'm I want to read CSME. And I want to read chapter 10. So I will have to revise. Start from chapter one, that's based in my summary notes, from chapter one to re read everything I've written on my summary notes. I don't start from chapter five because I've been reading chapter one already now. Every time I pick up my summary notes to read what I've summarized, I start from the beginning. I start from chapter one. Why is this so? You know, what you read last month, if you keep reading it over and over again, it will stick into your memory. For example, when I was writing professional level, advanced taxation, there was a question they brought, that's 2019 diet. If you can check, you will see. One of the questions that was given was, was from chapter one. They, they, they asked them about um, uh, tax audit investigation, what's incentive, tax evidence, and the rest. This was a theoretical aspect of the pack. I know people usually ignore the first few chapters of the, of the study pack. And, but since I have been reading this chapter, every time I'm going through my summary notes, I read, every time I'm going through my summary notes, I was able, immediately I, I just saw the question, I saw my notes. I had so mastered the chapter one that I didn't even need to even check if there are any other ones I could do. I just started solving it. So you just, as you're revising, don't just start from the last topic. Start from the first, the first chapter that you've summarized. You keep summarizing and revising it that way. You don't start from the previous topic. You start from the first one. And also, okay, past questions should not be read first, but after completing a topic. When I wanted to start the, these exams, Someone told me, I can the study pack is too much. You cannot be reading everything. You can't read everything. So just look at past questions. They repeat past questions. So just look at past questions. And honestly, this advice came from someone that was already ahead. So I was like, okay, okay, let me just, let me just wait. But after two weeks of doing that, I felt like I'm a very stupid person. That's because I will see a question and I will be confused. I will see a question and I won't even know what, is, what they're talking about. I will see question, I'll see solution, and then I'll just be staring at it. And then you will now see another question and then I will not be able to solve. So past questions should not come first. I know we don't have time, but past questions should not come first. It should come after 
you've read a topic. Okay, because within that topic helps you have a foundation, a pre-knowledge of what they are talking about. I can, they said I can repeat past questions. Well, I don't know if they repeat because I am not out to cram questions and answers. Because if you, if you have a foundational knowledge, if you have sufficient knowledge on that course or topic, any question that is being brought, you'll be able to handle it. So there's no point going around trying to cram. I saw people in my professional level, they will do cram, uh, cram, cram text uh, questions, you know, try to cram the solutions. And unfortunately, most times, these questions will not come out because if you're expecting this topic to come out, and then I am not expecting that I'm, all of us are now praying, ah, oh God, let this one not come out. Let this one come out, who will God answer? So past questions should be, when you finish reading a topic, you now use it to now test your assimilation, how you, if, how you would have solved it if you were in the exams hall. So past questions also helps us know how the examiner expects us to answer the question and how they mark the question. So past questions should not come before you read a particular topic. If not, you feel mm -hmm. as if you don't know anything, you be so dejected, you know, and please, whether I can repeat past questions or not, the most important thing is for us to be able to understand the core aspects of the topic, test some questions, and then you'll be good to go. Another thing is that every topic is important. I was teaching, that was, and okay, I was having a conversation with someone, she wants to write the PM. So she was saying, ah, we'll start with the important topics. And I said, which ones are the important topics? Just every topic in ICANN is important. Because the one you think is important may not come out. In fact, I can't remember which level that was, but is this same? These are the important ones that they usually okay. Uh, it should be November 2019 diet, skills level, M MG, before the M uh, that's CSME. They were expecting you know, all those big, big models that we were expecting, even in PM, they expected variants, they crammed this one, that one. Ha! Huh. Unfortunately, none of these topics came out. I, could, I just turned around, I saw my colleagues, my junior colleagues, and they were already telling me already in their eyes. Because as, as we know, these exams in PM, you always give a, you always have variants will always come. Uh, this one will always come. That other one will always come. But that did not happen. In fact, in CSME, I can still remember because the, the question one, that's 40 marks, where it came from, the students used one, two weeks to be able to discover where it was in their pack. And like one of the students said, she said she saw this thing, she read this thing. But since it is so small and insignificant, she just brushed it. She even showed it to me in her summary notes. Where she puts it, so just and she just brush it. I mean, it's not a BCG model, it's not life cycle model, it's not the, it's not a, you know, the other model. So it's not important. So the important ones that diet did not come out. So most of them failed the exams. So the topic you think is important, I can might want to keep it for another diet, and they will not bring that diet. So every topic is important. That is why I encourage everyone to try as much as possible to cover your pack. It gives you this level of confidence because when once you see a topic and any question, the main topic, even if you will not know what know the main how to quote the way they said it, but at least you have an idea of what they are talking about, what they want. But if you've not seen this word before, you've not seen another topic before, and boom, it it comes up, you start thinking of how you write the exams again next diet. So it's better we have, you know, at least have sufficient knowledge on every topic because every topic is important. The one you think I can will not set because it is too small. That's the one they will want to bring. Maybe that that day they would want to do for that Christmas, and then unfortunately we are looking at the ogres at the tops. And then another thing is to read to understand. Honestly, when I was preparing for these exams, I will read to understand. I not read to pass the exams. I was always reading to understand. Why? Because when you read to understand, 
it helps you better. And when you need to understand, one of the ways to understand better is to relate what you've read to real life experiences. Use local analogies. This will help you to understand and remember better. For example, I'm reading AMI and we have data and information. That's the topic, data and information. And data, as I've been told, is unprocessed data. That is, that's, it's information that has not been processed. So it's when data has been processed, we now have what we call information, which is what you can use to make informed decisions. And you know, I can now, the terms that we use, self. sometimes you have to, I, I'm fine. One more thing, I used to read my book side by side with dictionary. Because for some of us that uh, the school we went to, we not taught the big, big grammar. We have need such assistance. And the data is information that has not been processed as its raw state. So how do I drive down this knowledge? Okay, let's say for instance, you want to eat okra soup. Okay, so if you go into the market, the magi, the salt, the pepe, the fish, the crayfish, the okra, the ugu leaf, and the rest is raw. You can't eat it at that state because I mean it's just just components. So that's data. You can't use those kind of data to make any inf uh, information because it's just at its raw state. But then, if this okra, palm oil, water, crayfish, magi, and salt. You know, you've done all the cutting, you season the meat, you put all the potatoes, you know, put it on fire. When you bring it down, you have okra soup. That's the one that you can now eat. So that's the information that you can now make use of. So you make use of normal analogies, even in your summary notes. My summary note, I will write I can't definition of what a particular thing is. Then I'll also use my own layman's understanding to also write. Okay, so it's better you read to understand and not just to cram. I know for foundation level and skills level, you can use any language you want to, any grammar you want to use, but for professional, you're expected to use the professional terms and jargon. But when you use your 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 own your own normal everyday analogies, it helps you understand better. So when you see the questions in the exams, you can now remember, ah, this was the scenario. And then before you know it, the big words will now come and then you can now pin down your points. So you read to understand, not just to write the exams. And another point is don't ignore your study facts. I have some friends who wrote the exams in 2019, November diet. That was their first uh, attempt. Now, you know this concept we have that I can study part is empty. I can not bring what is in the pack. They will give you one plus one in the pack. And then they will now come and give you two A plus three B, X, Y, Z. Fine, kill. Yes, it's true. And then they'll ignore the pack. But I will say, please don't ignore your study packs. You're supposed to read your study packs first before you make use of additional materials, additional textbooks. Your study packs should come first. When you've exhausted that topic in your study pack, you cannot make use of additional textbooks. Why? Because additional textbooks, most of them, some of them are not written for ICANN purposes. Sometimes the contents of each topic might either be beyond the scope of the topic being treated in the study pack, or it might even be below. And these textbooks are supposed to be called additional materials. They're supposed to help you to build on what you've learned in the study pack, as you've learned from the study pack. So the relevant textbooks are supposed to help you. Can okay, you see more questions? Okay, how they construct the equations, how they answer it. It should just give you more insight, just like uh, someone taking vitamin supplements. Okay, you're taking supplements without eating the main food. What are you supplementing? Okay, okay. So for someone that just takes blood tonic, this one, that one and then you're not eating the, the main food and vegetables and fruits. What is the supplement supplementing? So the textbook should come after you've treated that topic in the study pack. So it's just what you just use to just build on. Okay, see how maybe they have uh, uh, more questions because in ICANN, the more questions you can solve, 
you know, it makes you, it broadens your scope and builds your confidence. So please, we're not supposed to ignore our study packs. You can use the relevant text, but it should come after you've uh, read that topic in the study pack. And some courses do not even need additional text. I'm not going to mention which course needs additional text and which one does not, but some courses, the study packs are just okay. In fact, most times when we go to make use of additional textbook, you end up, you come back confused, worse than if maybe you're even trying to understand what the asset means. You now go and read one textbook that probably is not even applicable in Nigeria. In fact, when I was <laughs> preparing for things this year or EFA, I saw a book on standards in a library, in the school library. And me that I like to read now. Anything I see, I want to read, I want to digest. And I thought that their standards were different from our own. IS2 was not inventory. It now don't know me that, that this book is an Indian textbook and their standards are not the same with our own. I just had to just help myself reduce my confusion by leaving the book, leaving it aside. Okay, so it's not all textbooks that you're going to make use of. It's not all textbooks and they shouldn't come, uh, they should not replace the study parts. It should just be an additional uh, stuff they're just using to supplement. So textbooks are meant to help us solve questions and to broaden our scope. Another thing we should notice is that while reading, aim for 90 to 100%. I know some persons will say, ah, me, I, do not, I don't want an award. My own like this is not an award I want. Eh? Like one man said, me, when I went to collect my certificate, I did not go for an award. They were busy collecting an award. That was not my business. My was to collect the certificate and come back, have ACA in my name. But why is it important for you to aim for 90 to 100%? Some persons will just say, there's only 50 I want. I will not kill myself. Yes, there's only 50 you want. You will not kill yourself. So you will read to have 50. And when the result comes out, you realize that what you have is 30. So when you aim high, for example, you are reading because you want to have 90%, you want to have 100%, you are killing yourself for this thing. Bad as it bad, if you fall, you land at 60. In fact, when I was preparing for it, I would tell people that, you say, I, I did the way you are reading this, this thing. You say that you want to win an award. I say, yes, so. <laughs> I want to get three awards. That's what I want. And one more thing I should chip in here is that no course is difficult and no course is simple. I was telling someone this thing on Wednesday, no course is difficult, no course is simple. You know, for example, in skills level, we'll say that, ah, CSM is not just theory. Ah, just, 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 you can just finish it in two days. What is there? Just we talk about models, this one, that one. And they didn't take it serious. Oh yeah, now, someone wrote uh, four papers. And did not pass any, not even CSM, because it's simple now. What is here? If I know of a guy that passed all the three papers and wrote CSM for three times, yes, because it's simple. What's there? Just sorry, now I see this calculation. What is there? You know. So no course is simple. No course is difficult. Because you think it's difficult, you now this one and then you now really get the other ones to the background. It, might, it can even shock you. When I, um, I entered professional level, I asked someone, I said, okay, in my skills level, I didn't start from foundation, so I didn't do tax, I didn't do audits. But in professional, I now I have to write advanced tax and advanced audits. So how is it? The man told me that, mm, well, you see tax, eh? Tax will not really give you issue, you know, you just know just the formula, this one, that one, this, this. But you see audits, advanced audit, hmm, that's the one that will give you issue. If you're not careful, you will fail and write again. I say, me, write again, advanced audit, no. Now, I since I, I didn't do, I didn't do um, tax and, and audits in foundation level and skills as well. And I had to read the skills pack of taxation, and audit first before proceeding to the advanced tax. Now I read this audit because, like the man, I, I, I understood his point because he said audit is more of 
experience, you know, it's practical, and you've not worked in an audit firm before. You don't have the, uh, the practical knowledge. I understood what you were saying. So since they told me that audit will give me wahala, I said audit will not give me problem. Everybody say audit is just, what's it just then? Audit just to, because I heard it is difficult. It will give me issue. I had to invest, make sure I really do. I didn't trivialize. In fact, the tax demand said uh, was just there. Is it not just, I asked 50 something. It's God that saved me. 50 something. If I had done any harder, I would have just fallen into 40 something. So the audit that they said, some people were saying is, is, uh, is simple. What is there? How many pages? Theory, just 15 chapters. I mean, 20 chapters, you have, you have finished. But I had to put in effort. And that was the one that, by the grace of God, I was able to get an award as the overall best student in that course. So no course is difficult. No course is simple. If you see a course as being difficult, the fear of failing is enough to make you fail. Of course, in skills level, the difficult course, everybody says is PM, and the professional is SFM. In fact, my SFM, SFM exam, I was prepared to come and write again because the number one question, after the exams, they said, ah, someone called me, I have you seen, I can make the exam so cheap. Number one question was APM, I'm sorry, APV. I said APV, he said it was thin and very obvious, very clear. I said, eh? Well, what I saw was NPV. I said, oh, anyway, if I come back to write only one, it's not be bad. At least I passed four out of five. But I didn't come back to write again. Okay. And one more thing you should know is that in the exams hall, just write what you know. Write what you know. If you don't know the technical jargons to use, write the layman's uh, this thing that you know. Just write what you know. Write what you understand. Okay, so aim for as you're studying, just study as if you want to have an A. When I was in the university, my lowest grade was a C. In fact, if I have a C, I remember when I was in my first year and I had a C in the course and I came back and I was crying. People thought I had an F. Okay. And so when they asked me, my bunkie was telling me, Bonky, so I was in year one, first semester. Bonky, so you this well. You even if you know, carry over is not a challenge. You write again, even when you have three, this one that I say, Bonky, but how can this man give me a C? Hey, now God save me, they would have beaten me that day in my hostel. That's why I cry for it. I say yes, because whenever I read, I aim for an A. So if I, I aim for an A, whenever I'm reading, so if worse comes to worse, you know, if I cannot get an A, I will have a B. And if it's so bad, I will learn at a C. So I can never go below C. I never had any grade below C. So if, as I'm reading, I'm like, I beg, I cannot come and keep myself. C is still a pass mark. I'm sure I would have had one or two or three Fs before I left this, the university. So you target, you aim high. For example, if your target is to make 100,000, what we call the 10X rule. If your target is to make 100,000 a month, you don't make plans of how to make 100,000. You draw up a plan of how to make 1 million. Because of course, you may not be able to reach the one million, but anyhow, anyhow, you'll be able to go, you'll be able to land at something at 100 or a little bit above it. So you read as if you want to score 90%, as if you want to pack all the awards in this, in this world from ICANN. You give me your best. And before you know it, you'll be able to land at something which will be obviously above 50%. And then there's one more thing you can do is you could have an audio recording of uh, important points and formulas. I remember there was one man that was, I was taking him an audit and because he did not have, he doesn't have time, me too, I we don't have time, you know, to be meeting and the rest. So I started doing audio recording and sent to him and he enjoyed it. In fact, when I stopped it, he was like, I, I, why, why do you have to stop it? And I noticed that that was also a strategy for me. So those, Seeing those points that, you know, I'll just do an audio recording and then you need to keep playing. Just like you can know the lyrics of a song without browsing that lyrics, because when the song keeps playing over and over again, you know, you enjoy it and then it sinks in. So in this case, you can have an audio recording of some very important points or 
some formulas, some acronyms, okay? So that you can just use your phone now, just be playing it as you're moving around with APs or with speaker, and then you know it keeps playing over and over again. Just as children learn uh, with no rhymes on the school songs and the rest, because we keep repeating it over and over again. So one more thing is you read your topics before and after your class. After a particular class, while the thing is still hot, you know, you don't just abandon that topic or what was learned till the end of the month before you now go through it. It's, it's, it's better if you go through it uh, at that after the class or within a short period of time. So you build on what you learned uh, during the class. Another thing is to know the time that works for you. When I was when I was in skill, when I was uh, skills level, I did not go for night class because honestly, I noticed right from my university days, I'm not a night class person. If I go for night class, I'll go and sleep. And when I come back, I have to sleep again. So I didn't go for night class. And people were asking me, ID, you don't come to read at night in the school, that's the tuition center. I saw you reading at all. I be mean, sleeping at home. I said, Jinniki, I'm reading now. You don't go for a group study, you don't do, you just stay, you're, you're not reading at all. It was when the first results came out, skills, and I cleared all. I believed I was reading. Now, personally, I'm not a night class person. I can't read in the night, like say 12 to 3. Let me read. If I stay awake 12 to 3, when I sleep throughout the day, I'll be feeling very sleepy and I'll. I'll have to spend nine hours for a three hour sleep I lost. Because I went to night class now like three times during my professional level course as if I was more serious. And I couldn't cope. I was so uncomfortable. I was yawning. I'm not even sure I learned a single thing. So you know what works for you. People have different times that work for them. For example, for someone like me, I cannot read where there's noise. But some, some persons can read where there's noise and they will not be affected. Some persons can read in the afternoon. Some persons can read in the morning. Some persons is in the night. So it depends on what works for you. And you also adjust, make adjustment based on your schedule. In fact, I had issues reading in the afternoon, like that 12, one, two, because of the sun. Here in Galingo, the sun, when the sun wants to come out, it comes out very well. And, Sometimes I see my head wants to fall off the heat so much. I have to, I mean, throughout that period, I couldn't even make my hair. I have to put my head inside water, remove it because the heat was so, so much. And sometimes I'll be like, I can't continue. I'll not tell myself, I can't will not ask you if you had so much heat and uh, there was the sun was too much. So you just have to just pull through. So you work with what you know, what works for you. And for someone like me. But then I cannot sit in, I cannot read for more than one hour at a stretch. I used to envy people that can stay for three hours, four hours, and they are jacking. That's why I never used to go to, like, to, the, to read in the school library because after one hour, I must stand up. So I noticed that one about, about myself that I can't sit down for more than one hour because I'm reading. So I will not compare myself with someone that reads five hours at a stretch mm -hmm. and, and then I will not do anything for myself. So I just need, okay, I, I break my reading pattern. I can say after each topic, I stand up or after maybe 50 pages, 20 pages, I will stand up and move around, maybe eat or press my phone or do something. So you just know what works for you and you mm -hmm. do exactly what works for you. And then please, we should avoid too many materials. When I was preparing, when I was uh, preparing for a professional level, I saw many materials from different parts of the country, from different tuition centers, from individuals, from senior colleagues that have already qualified. So many materials. And sometimes I was even like, one day I told myself, why am I doing this to myself? I haven't even finished reading the park and the other relevant materials. These other ones will come from this state. This other one, this person will bring bam. And 
at the end of the day, you might end up being confused. So at most, three relevant materials is enough in a particular course or a particular topic. Remember, it is not for you to cram the materials, but for you to, to help you build on what you've already had before. It just, just uh, you know, help you understand what you've done already. So too much, too many materials is not, is not, is not good. You just end up being confused. You have too many things to read, particularly on the particular topic, and then you miss out on doing those other ones. So I think uh, that is okay. all I have to say now. Thank you so much. In fact, I'm motivated and really enjoy it. Thank you so much, Mrs. ID. I think I've picked up my points and I can actually summarize everything. All right. Hello? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry, ma'am, before you eventually go, what is the one key thing that you think students need? The one key thing or one key skill that students actually need as a motivating factor to passing at the group. One key skill. Yes. Okay, I'll say that. Um, I kind of not favor any tribe. People say it's a Yoruba exam, only that people can pass. I'm not a Yoruba person, I wrote the exam and I passed. <laughs> I passed at once. They said the Yoruba, only Yoruba people that I can is doing Pasha. If you go to Lagos, you pass, or all those kind of things. It's not a particular tribe. I can need, I can is very jealous. I can need your time and for you. For Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that wonderful performance. I think everyone has already picked their points. I already have my two sheets here. And at the end of the class, I shall summarize everything. I hope people to be also getting as I am. Okay, permit me to move to the next speaker, Mr. Inyada Wachu, ACA, who will be telling us on how to prepare for ICANN exam with ease. Mr. Inyada ACA is actually from Lagos State. And we have many experience in lecturing, both online and physical. He's a corporate strategy manager. He's also a graduate, a BS, a, he has, he holds MD, BSc, HCA, and likewise, he's also an award winner in ICANN. And Mr. Inyanda has actually been setting up his professional competencies and years of experience in the industry to teach his students. Permit me to actually welcome Mr. Inyanda. Mr. Inyanda, will ask you, please, within five minutes. Okay. Tell us how students need to prepare to pass the ICAM exam with you. Just five minutes because of time. All right. So good evening, everyone. My name is Inyanda Abdelwasil, and I take what CSA mean in ICAM online to do. And without wasting much of our time, he said that how to prepare for ICANN exam with ease. And let me also add to some of what my previous speakers have also noted. How can you prepare for what for ICANN exam with ease? You see, one of the uh, one of the things that you can do to make it easy. It's not really easy. Let's be honest with ourselves. It's not really easy. But how can you reduce the what? How can you reduce the stress? And one of the things that you can do to, to make it very easy, one, you need to understand the word, the structure of the syllabus. Don't forget that. Understand the word, the structure of the word, the syllabus. In terms of what? When I say structure of the syllabus, in terms of this particular subject now, is being divided into how many? I need to understand that first. Okay, let's say for example now, like the word the CS seminar, I know it's divided into four. We have the word the strategic management, we also have the word the ethics, we have the risks, and we also have the word we also have the governance. That's the first thing that I need to do. 
that this particular thing now is divided into how many area because so that i will know now that oh is divided into four so if i know that it is divided into four then the next thing for me to now do is that okay well, i cannot start approaching it one after the other now that okay well, this particular area now i set my target now that oh before was before maybe september ending i could have through with what three of out of the world the four then when you know the structure another thing that you also need to do is that you have to work with the world you have to work with the past question a lot you have to work with the world. You have to work with the past question. It's what it's very, very well. It's very, very easy for you. And what I do, at least when I was writing my ICANN exam, I was what I qualify in what in three hundred level then. So what I what I do then is that I have to know what, like what we have a trend. Like I will go to what now? I will go to maybe November twenty fourteen now. I'll look at, okay, in this subject now, what was the examiner asking? Oh, the examiner is asking question relating to what? Maybe it's relating to ethics now. You know, I have no structure in terms of what, oh, it is divided into what? It is divided into four. That's the first thing I know. Then I will now work with the past question now. Oh, in this particular diet now, oh, question one was on what area out of the four now? Oh, he's on what? He's on ethics now. Then I'll go to the what? So that if you what now, once I'm able to what, oh, Today now, let me say I set a target now. Today is Saturday now. That uh, oh, before next week Saturday now, I want to be true with what with one aspect of this. So maybe before next week uh, Saturday now, I could have set a target that oh, like two days now, I could have used it to work to maybe to solve a question relating to. So once I am able to do maybe like a two days now, or about to get to the what to the target day that I have what I have set, then the next thing that I have to do is just go back to the what go back to the past question. And then do what I have to do what solve the past question as well. Also. Then another thing that also once you understand the structure, you work with what the past question. Another thing that I also also do is that the technology has made what has made learning to be easy. And that's why I think I, I can online tutor is also try to what to solve that as well. In terms of words, it's not the way we learn now is a little bit more what easy. In terms of if I didn't understand something. Is a thing that I can what I can ask I can use on the words I can ask on the internet or I can just what maybe uh, like five of my MB or ten of my MB okay let me watch the words let me watch a brief video about what that because there are some things that what you don't need to be start reading everything honestly there are some things that you just need to listen to it is there everything that you what you need to read. There are some things that if you have the opportunity to listen to it, it is what it is better. And that's why, okay, maybe for example, now you finish a class now, and maybe the voice note or some of this thing is what is available for you. What you can just do, just bring your earpiece and do what? Because let me use myself as example, my time is almost up. In terms of, uh, I'm still in school there. So what I just do then, I what? I just need to download what? I just need to download video. I need to watch, okay, if you have what, any video or what I download. So when I was going to school then, I, I can still remember, then I have to buy a, what, a memory card of like 82 gig. So that what all the video and what, any what, any media stuff, I'll put it, then have my earpiece and what, start listening to it. Because I still have a tab, then I, I stole some of this. Thing. Because there are some times that I do, you don't need to what, start reading everything. I have to carry the part. There are some things that you don't need to carry the part and start doing what. You can learn from that as well. So if you don't understand anything, you can use the media as well. Use the internet. It's also what it's also make life easy for us. Just use it in the right way. Then another thing that I also had in the world in the final note is, uh, is about what what is for you to make something easy for yourself and have it at the back of your mind that as you are what as you are want to write this exam. There are some things that you don't really need to watch. There are some things that it is not necessary for you to read it before you watch, before you're able to pass it in exam. It's not the thing that you read, and that's why it is a professional exam. It's everything that you, if you read the pack words, if you read the pack from A to Z, there are some questions that we can ask you in the exam that you just require you, it's not really there. And I can remember there was a time that I was writing an exam, which is my final level, it was in advanced tax. And what the examiner was asking all is that, okay, well, they'll give us a, what, a little scenario that, oh, this is Nigeria, 
and this is what this is South Africa. So now, as a what, as an investor now, which country should you invest in? Should you invest in what in South Africa or should you invest in what in Nigeria? So what you just, you know, that is a word now. I can't see the answer in the park, but I just have to be what, just have to be open-minded. Just have to be open-minded that it is not what, have it at the back of your mind that it is not everything. There are some things that you just need to use your generic knowledge to provide what, to provide answer to it in the, in the exam. And what you just need to do in that, word, in that scenario, just to work, to compare the, some of the what, the tax system, some of the Nigerian tax rate, and compare with what, with the one that you have in South Africa. So you just advise the investor now, oh, invest in what, in a company in South Africa. Why? Because it have a what, a lower tax rate. And some of these indicators that you use to provide that judgment is already provided for you. So just be well, just be open-minded and to make it easy also, we also need God. Just pray. And God is great, is going to make it what is going to make it easy. And one of the four, another thing you also need to do is that try as much as possible that if you don't understand something, don't wait for the words, don't wait for the exam. Oh, our exam is what is in on November now. So I'll be what you can what you can still relax a little bit. That okay, it is when it's what October ending now that I have to be what you don't need. There are some things that you don't need to be okay. Exam is very fast, of course. That's why you are not stressing your brain. So the brain may not really have the what the capacity to what to accumulate it at that particular time that you what that you need. So one of the things that you can make is just what just take it what gradually what take it step by step. I was still what eight years student then. I have already what I already cover a what one aspect in what in professional, which is what uh, my CSME then, which is RICS. Because I discovered that every time examiner will always bring RICS. So I'm doing my BSc, I was doing one program in 200 level that is RICS. So I've read that word. This is just chapter nine and ten of your word of some of us that are doing CSME, which is RICS. I've already read that. So I'm ready what I've already taken it words before even what before even approaching the exam. It is one of the first things I have to just what be taking it what gradually by gradually. Don't wait for the what. That's another way you can make what making your exam to be very easy and so that you also what you also pass. So let me stop here. It's almost what it's more than five minutes. And thank you very much for attending this webinar. Thank you so much. Thank so thank you very much. So, so, you hear me? Thank you. So permit me to quickly permit me to quickly invite my third speaker. Mr. Osman Odubadu, A.C.A. A.K.A. Odumendi. <laughs> Mr. Osman Odubadu, over the decades, has been a finance and investment professional. I'm currently working with a pension fund administrator company. Mr. Osman Odubadu has a -A holds AAT, BAC, A.C.A. since 2015, and is also and ACS member, Associate of Sata Stop Broker in 2018. Permit me to actually welcome Mr. Usman Olubodun Olu Menti to discuss with us some strategies and techniques of successful students in my examination. Welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Kasali. You are making my head smell off. Where you are qualifying me, you are making me feel like one um, president. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, work you, I want to welcome you all. The, the first two speakers has done justice, you know, to the task of the day. And I want to commend them. Meanwhile, I want to add a little. And the little is sleep well. Read well and eat well. Those three activities must be well taken care of when writing your exam. You have to make sure you read well. And if you are tired, sleep well and make sure you eat well. Because I can remember when I was um, in, in, is it P2? Yes. There was this lady that we were preparing the exam together. And uh, suddenly she, he fell sick. But because the exam is like three to four weeks to, to the scheduled date, we rushed out to the hospital. And um, because of the because of the 
she, she, the preparation she has done already, she had to lie. Let me use the word lie to the, to the doctor that she's fine so that they can release her for the exam. Believe me, you, we lost that lady. She died. She couldn't write that diet, and that's the end of her life. She died. She died. So I want us to be very careful. ICANN is not a do or die affair. We should not take it like, ah, if I don't pass, I'll kill myself. No. Just be disciplined about it. Break down the, the topics. Break it down into days. And make sure that you follow the, your timetable with all sense of um, conviction, with all sense of discipline. For example, SFM, you have 30 days for the exam, and you have, you have to cover 30 topics. Divide those topics into this, because I can remember when I was doing my account, I was working. And what I was doing there was that during my spare time, I will take my time to jot because that's my own strategy. Because if you look at the, that ICANN pack, it's very voluminous, it's very big. And it is not all the for all information in that pack that is relevant for your exam. So what you do is, is to jot out the salient points. So if you are doing your first reading, be jotting, be jotting it in a small jotter. So that by the time you want to do your second reading, it will be very what? Handy. It will be very handy for you and it, you will be motivated to read. So I will encourage you that as you are reading, you are also jotting down the salient point. So that if you want to read again, it is those points that you've jot out that you are going to revise. So that will make you understand. And you know that there is this secret about jotting now. As you are jotting, the thing is also entering your head. So we should take it easy with ourselves. We should believe in ourselves. I can is not a do or die affair. Just identify your strength. Some people, it will take them maybe 10 minutes to understand the concept. Some people, it will take them 30 minutes. Some people, it will take them an hour. That means that we have different assimilation rates. So learn to identify yourself. If you know that the assimilation rate is very low, it takes you lengthy time to understand something. Make sure that you develop a strategy in line with that. Don't be like somebody else. Don't copy your friend. Your friend might have a faster assimilation rate than you. Don't try to be like your friend. Do your own thing your own way. And luckily for us, we now have a credit system. So if you know that your assimilation rate is low, don't do the four paper at once. You can schedule it. You can do two per day. And if you discover that your schedule is too tight and your assimilation rate is low, you can do one per day. The most important thing is make sure you pass. So at this junction, I want to wish you all the best in your exam. Just believe in yourself and act according to, to your strengths. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for the wonderful presentation. Thank you so much. Short and simple, as everybody has had. Thank you so much for that. Eventually, our uh, first speaker ought to be discussing with us some approaches to maximizing online lectures benefits. But currently, it's not available. Well, Mr. Nassini, are you there? I don't think so. It's currently not available. If you permit me, I would like to actually stand in for him. And I will also keep it short and see Mike. When we talk of the approaches to maximizing online lecture benefit, if you look at our icon online to talk, our instructors have actually said a lot when it comes to the strategies, the skills, the techniques we actually need to pass our ICANN examination at the touch or at the next ascent. And ICANN online has actually simplified that. 
Like during our introduction, I said we have audio lectures, we have video lectures. Now we have inculcated uh, weekly questions and answers in order to improve your, in order to access you and also improve your chances in the ITAM examination. Let's look at all what has been discussed to us. All these are the benefits that you actually need. It now depends how do we handle all what is given to us. One of the speaker, Mrs. Miss ID, while he was advising, he said the first and foremost that we need to do is to ensure that we understand each topic and also ensure that we don't need all resources. We don't need all materials. All our lectures, all these prepare, all our instructors do prepare for us our lecture notes. And those our lecture notes are tailored in line with your study path, though in consultation with other resources. But they have been carefully selected. With the resources that we have, it's enough for us to actually pass our item examination. One of the benefits of using online lecture is that we have a video playback to always fall back upon, you know, which can actually serve as a kind of refresh, a kind of refresh for us whenever we're studying. Another advantage that we have is through the other lecture. If you look at what all the first speaker, second speaker, as well as the first speaker hammered on, you would agree with me that they all focus on audio lecture. Audio lecture is very important, especially for those of us that are really working. While I'm working in the office, I can actually plug, plug in my earpiece or my earbud and be listening to the audio voices. In fact, some of us can still be playing the video lectures. We are asked, do we have our earpiece in our discipline and our work will still be going on in the office. Like we've always been advised, when you get from before you sleep, at least dedicate for yourself if it will be just 14 minutes or 30 minutes. It's enough for us to actually refresh or go again, look at all what we have done, and try as much as possible to solve and find it. My keynote speaker said, while he was in school, this is what she can do, this is what she cannot do, but understanding the time that actually works for you. No matter the time, there's a need for us to actually balance the work life with our career life. And that is one of the tasks that we are actually trying to solve. With all what has already been given to us, it is enough for us to just approach all to approach the icon examination with the relevant resources that you have. And by so doing, God will grant you maximum benefit, good understanding, and, um, and the good results in your examination. Thank you all. What I could do, what I could do from the speaker, from what my speakers have said earlier, is that the first and foremost, when you want to write an ICANN examination, is you should first overcome your fear of ICANN exam. This is Ms. ID said, fear will only limit us and will not allow us to achieve our aim. And he said we should also believe in ourselves. Then note that ICANN is difficult. That is the general language. ICANN is difficult, but it is not a mountain that cannot be climbed, as he said. That though ICANN is difficult, but not impossible to pass. If Mr. A can pass it, you too can pass it. All these people that have spoken with you, they are <laughs> professionals. Let me just use that word. And you could see when Mr. Olubodun was talking, Mr. Osman actually sat up doing, if you fill one paper, you fill all. I think we all know that area, or we've heard of that area. Not that now you can break your paper into two or three, or write one. Then if you write four paper and you fill one, you pass three, you fill one, you have to take all the four papers. That is why we need to have confidence and see that if somebody can pass it, we too can pass. Some people have already passed the difficult level. The easy level that we have now, we can pass it. The only thing that we needed as advised by Ms. ID is to have confidence in yourself. And always assume you don't know anything. 
you've always been advised that even when you are in class or when you are using any of our online lectures resources, assume zero knowledge. Assume zero knowledge would actually, it would create an interest in learning. And by so creating interest in learning, you'll be willing to learn, then you will be willing to also package what they might have already been provided in that study material. Aside from that, the shared of our confidence piece, yes, don't think you've known it all. Especially if you are writing any of this, but I also want to mention, don't assume you know it is all. Just assume that having covered much, having know this. Over the years of my experience, I've had some students that should be like, I said, we've not touched this, I said, we've not touched this. I said, we've touched it now. I said, no, I don't understand. We have to read it. We have to read it. I don't, I can't count the numbers of times that revision upon revision, question upon question, but the relevant question, not question is not relevant, like what is it? Every question, whether it looks stupid or it looks nonsense. Like I said that in nonsense, there is still a sense there. So ask any question, irrespective, ask your tutor, they are there for you. I've always been advised, subscribing to ICANN online, you have already made a payment, use your money. The best way to use your money is whatever they give it to you. Use it to the last drop of that chain. If it is a video, watch the video, watch, 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 and watch as if there's no other home video again. Listen to your voice note. Then also, you have material, you have assignments, solve them. Now you have weekly questions, solve them and ensure that you deliver all these things in due time. We also get this from the presentation that I can be different from all what we've done in school. This is a new chapter on this one. Please ensure to read as if you know nothing, it's what she hammered on, and it said you need to have a reading schedule. Our other speaker also said, while you are having a reading schedule, he said you have to understand the structure of the syllabus. For instance, SSM is broken into four. What are the four? SSM is broken into four. What are the four? What is that? PM, PM is broken into four. What are the four? Then under each edit, how much have you covered? If you think a paper is a topic is not important and you think you are about confidence, it, it, it might just be that is what we find so difficult in the examination. While we are in class, I told one of my students that this ratio analysis that we are doing is a bonus. Just know that ratio analysis is a bonus to the point that I entered into SSM class in one diet like that as not even an average student, but this ratio analysis was among my saving days. And if you look at it, you will think there's no ratio analysis. We have performance evaluation, all these things are there. Don't say, oh, I have a sense knowledge. Leave that one and go, don't do that. This idea actually advised us on that. And he said, you should understand this topic and ensure that we summarize. Most key notes that I also done with that I jotted out for me this thing is past questions should not be your first point of contact. Past questions should be your last point of contact. And as we've always been saying, we will just find out that this past question you even treated them in the class with your instructor. So let it be the last. If there's something that you should put your energy on then it should be on your study material that is provided by your tutor, then your video lectures. And he said you should need to understand and also use a local language or what we call a layman understanding. And that is what the second speaker called using a generic knowledge in your examination. I can't call you professional. Either you're at skills level or you're at final level. I can't remember treat you like ATH. 
I want you to know that. Most of the information, most of the person will be containing a light, real light scenario. When they give you a real light scenario, not everything will be found in the past, as said by Mr. Anyada. At times you need to use the generic knowledge. What understanding do I have on this? Especially anything that is happening in our economy, we need to finalize ourselves with it. And take your study gradually and be open-minded. An important information that actually touched my heart was that of Mr. Lubiodu when he makes reference to a lady, a lady that could not actually, that do not take care of herself first. She is the exam as they do or that. That is one of the message passed by Mr. Lubiodu that you should eat well. Sleep well and read well. It is very, very important. She, the lady that gave up the divorce, the all the divorce normalcy, that lady now, can she have the exam again? The answer is no. Selling a diet is not the end of the road. I have a student who actually gave a testimony, a professional colleague who actually gave a testimony in our free art class this morning. And I was like, do, I don't know what went wrong, but this is this, this is sad. Let's endeavor to practice more questions and do this and do that. That is a testimony. Feeling a diet is not the end of the world. It is just that we have not been favored. At the helm of everything, prayer is one of the key things that we have to put into consideration. We need to pray fervently, as we are also living fervently. And Mr. Ali Gordon advises us to be well disciplined and divide the topic into days. You must have your own personal schedule, weekly schedule. Like online tutor is not actually for you for weekends. I can online is not for weekends. We are available for you every day. There's no one that has actually asked questions and discovered. We might not answer immediately, but we ensure we answer before that day runs out. So please, pick your, be disciplined in your study and ensure you just have the silent point as noted by all my speakers. Another important point is to identify your assimilation rate with your strength and weakness. That's very key. I'm a fast learner. If you are a fast learner, are you just learning it without understanding? That is another thing that arises and it is Miss ID. Understand the strength and weakness. What will work for me might not work for you. I'm a slow learner. But whenever I read something and I finish it, what I bite, I bite to finish. If you are a fast learner, you might not bite to finish. Let me say it like that. Then I had this also from my admin that he said we can we can always break our examination paper. Though, as advice, if you know that the capacity does not carry all the paper, you can break it. But I will derive something from this ID when you show that do not limit yourself and don't let anybody push you down. Don't allow negativity. No matter what, you must set yourself you your some target. You hear us. If I thought that, that height could not be reached. At least you will be at the point that you be satisfied. My dear professional colleagues, because of time and other activities, I hope that today's meeting will have a positive impact in our lives. Please, this is time for question and answer. This are the summary of, of what our instructor and our, our speakers actually said. If you have one or two questions for you, then you can meet yourself and ask questions now. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, my name is uh, Ishola Yedele Samson. Okay, Hello? please hold on, Mr. Ishola. Ishola, For orderliness, if you have questions, raise your hand, admin will call you. So, so, but Mr. Ishmael, go ahead with your question. 
Thank you very much, sir. So uh, uh, my question we start from Mrs. Miss ID. Miss ID. Ms. Okay, the question the question has to do with um, reading of the park because I'm taking a professional exam that is a final level. Um, from the okay. little distance we have with us, the material we have gotten so far, we learnt um, the CR is not available now. And that's one of the challenges I'm having. Then how do we get this material reading at the same time, combine the same with the material we have from the weekly lecture? That's one. Secondly, uh, she also make a um, um, point on uh, finishing reading those pack before the examination at least once. So I want to see how we can do that and uh, make it at the time. So the second question has to do with, uh, I, I, I didn't get the last speaker's name. Uh, so the Mr. Osman, okay. I think I jotted the last question. Okay. okay, the last speaker. So he said we should break down topics into days and weeks. So I want to see how he can guide us in doing that. So those are my questions, sir. Thank you so much. That question is noted. Any other questions? Hello, any other questions? Okay, just self, please. Okay. Yeah, just self, please go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Joseph. I'm calling from, um, from Joss. I saw this notification on Facebook. I actually don't know how I, I qualified to get it, but um, it's been a fruitful discussion, at least to, to the extent of the part that I've listened to so far. Um, I've been away from ICANN for some time. And um, that since I got to professional level, I have all the five papers to write. So and I've been wondering, um, is it too late in the day for one to actually start preparing for a November diet? Um, especially if you want to take the five papers. And then secondly, considering that this is actually new to me in terms of um, this online, um, that is your organization, how do I you know, benefit from, let's say your lectures and all of that? you know, as a new person. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your question is noted and we are going to have provided shortly. Thank you, Mr. Joseph. Yes, another question. Okay, that's all for now. I think nobody, no other person is raising his or her hands. So they okay. can answer the question and Part of the class because of the next classes the, stu the students will be having. Okay, so please let us share the contact, sir. All right. My first question is on she has study part that has not been released by ICANN. Sorry to cut you. Sorry to cut you. Please, somebody is raising his or uh, and now Christian, I think he's having question. Okay, so Christian, please ask your question. Yeah, good evening, everyone. I just have a simple question, uh, straightforward question. Um, if based on what I've what I've been discussed so far, the the, um, the lecturers that talked about how to you know, experience exams. So look, I'm just trying to ask. Looking at the, if one just focus on the the videos alone and the materials for each of the topics that have been shared so far. I believe there's high chances for one to just pass the exams, considering the nature of the work I do and all that. So I may not have time to start reading up the whole part based on the um, accountancy and position. So if I focus on the videos, look at the, um, the material shared in each of the topics, and also solve more questions, I believe one can still um, you know, pass exams. Maybe from, from um, past, the guys that uh, they have written before, if we have such testimonies and all that. Um, just focus on the videos, the material shared, and the soft qu past questions. If you have testimonies of those that, have, that did something similar and have also excelled in the exams, if you have that, that will help as well. Okay, your question. Thank you so much for that. 
that is contribution and not a question. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, let me now answer the question. The first question was on FIAC study pack and the connection with that study pack and the instructor, especially when ICANN has not provided the study pack. Yes, I think this same question was put forth during my FIAC class. If you look at the lecture notes that has been provided for all, all the key changes in each of the packs has already been factored into the course of the lecture. All the changes that affect each topic, each country, has already been factored. We've already put it in your study pack, in our own study material that is given to you. That is the essence of sharing the lecture notes for you for the class or immediately after the class. Using the study pack, you already have the you, just as advised. Now, you already have the resources with you. The Miss ID only gave his idea and what she has used when he was in school then. Everything has already been factored into the course of our lecture, and you already have that lecture note that has been dropped for you in each week. Just ensure that you get a with the study material that is given to you and you watch the videos, everything has already been covered, including some of the questions you find out. That's why I said, before you could even touch that your pathfinder, first ensure that you accept the question that is being given to you by your instructor. So the connection with, the, with what the instructor is given to us for the lecture notes. The instructor has already put that in our study material. So all our instructors are aware of the new changes and they've already done that during the course of the lecture notes. Just with the lecture notes, the sufficient and the not Okay. The second question is from Mr. Jesus. Mr. Jesus, we are welcome back to I can exactly I'll come back to I can. Let me tell us that I can and line to tell if you're sure it's where you can actually get your where you can actually pass your exam at the beach. No matter the number of things that you've been away from I can examination, so far you can follow the tutorial instruction. Use what is given, watch our video, and put it with you that you have no limitations for you. The only thing that might limit one is when you do not follow instruction or use the resources that is provided by the instructor. If that you have your chances of passing examination is 99.9 percent. .9%. So sir, you can benefit that surprising to the icon online tutorial. Our administrator, can you share the screen? You can just screenshot our contact. Then visit our site. If you visit our site, our site is icononlinetutor.com.ng. By visiting our site, you can actually register with us and make your payment so that can be added to the closed user group. From there, we benefit from all the all this thing that you have also been and our students are already benefiting from that already. By using it, you are already passing with your icon examination. Thank you, Mr. Christian, for that advice. Focusing on your videos and audio, then solving the question that is being provided, especially those questions set out for you by your instructor, is enough for us to pass the examination. Not submitting assignments has been one of the major challenges that all instructors are having. Please, let's endeavor to be submitting any assignments that is Honestly, we have no challenge. And our chances of passing the examination is clear and very clear. Solving the assignments is just for them to know this is our contact. 
Something that one of the church board the instructor to know some of the things are not getting right so that they could address it in the next class. But if we do not solve, how are we going to that is why you solving assignments and solving to me. Assignment is not to punish you, it is to discipline you and to ensure that you delivered what we actually promised. So that is that about the question asked and the opinion. Any other thing please from anyone? Yes, the changes in the CR affect the CR affect all the chapters. No, the changes in the CR does not affect all the chapters. Sorry, the CR do not affect all the chapters. And I think we've already released the changes that occur. Okay. So, Mr. Joseph, you can check your direct DM. We will actually send the message to you. Any other question? If there's another question, if there's no other question, chat because of time. I, I think there is another question from chats. Question from chats from yes. the chat room. I have answered that. But Mr. Ishala is raising his hand again. Okay, Mr. Ishala. Do you have another question? Yes, sir. Yeah, sir, I just right. want a, a, a workable, um, okay. maybe outline or something that you can okay. break your study into. Okay. A workable okay. one. Okay. You have to ask for, <laughs> yes, you have to ask for how to do this to from Mr. Olivardi. Okay, we shall put that together and forward to the group before next week. We shall do that and forward to body. Thank you so much for that. Any other questions? If there's no other question, I would like to have my closing remark from Mr. Okay. Let me have my chosen remark from Mr. Nanda. Mr. Nanda, do I see? Can you please choose remark for us? Okay, not available. I don't want to stress my professor. Okay. All right. Okay, so I see Mr. Nanda is not available. So closing remark, there is one of the tutors that wanted uh, him to say something, but it seems he has left. So I will just give the closing remark so that we can let you go and prepare for your next class. If, um, if you are to prepare, continue preparing for exams. So I will just share this screen with you. I think this is just probably the summary of everything we have been discussing today. These are the, do, the do's and don'ts that you need, to, which is just the summary. Now, it's not everything that the tutor or the tutors have shared with you today that you expected to follow. You need to know what will work for you. you understand? Yes, some of you cannot might be impossible for you to finish the study part because you work, you attend to your family, you have engagements. Some of you work Mondays to, to, uh, to Saturdays. So you barely have much time. You work Mondays to Saturdays and you still have to go to church. You have workers in church and you have to go to church on Sundays. So and our solution is to find time to help you save resources. That's why we are in our class in the first place, because you don't have to time to join the physical classes. I will simply read out this and explain. So the first one says study daily. That's the do. You must always find time to study daily. Even, and that was before, at least the minimum. And I and this is for the person that is just writing one paper. That's the minimum you can. And like I just said, have a timetable. 
you can write it for more papers. I have a timetable. You can't write seven papers now. So if I write in, let's say six papers, which is the maximum you can write now, you have seven days. So for each day, at the end of time, from Monday to Friday, allocate cost for each of them. I don't want to know whether it's at night when you come back from work, you would watch the videos or is um or is during the day before you leave work. That's when you would watch the videos. But you must dedicate at least an hour every day to watch the videos or study. This is not negotiable. This is what you must do as a student. So on Saturdays, I will you would have probably have more time to study on Saturday and Sunday. So I also uh, I also to allocate more courses on Saturday. Between each class, have an hour. That an hour, yes, I advise you to take the rest. But you don't know, have classes all day. So there will be some free time for you during the day on Saturdays and Sundays. Please utilize it. And I said the don't is that don't wait a few weeks. I was I was talking to the advanced class class two or three weeks ago. I said, see, some people will say, hey, if I start reading now, I will forget everything when it's time for exam. So I would prefer to wait. Well, I understand that happens sometimes, but it's not that you will forget everything. People think that you are forgotten everything. You've not forgotten everything. Yes, it's, it looks like you have forgotten everything. But the truth is that once you pick your book and you start reading, you will start remembering all those things. So it's like a revision for you as at that time. It's not like you have forgotten, but because you have left that topic for some times, it looks like you have forgotten, but you have not forgotten. You just wonder that immediately you start reading or you start remembering everything you've read. So that's why I said, start reading early. Don't wait till few days to exam. Number two is that summarize your notes. So whether it's the videos you want to watch, I can tell you confidently that our videos are sufficient for you to go into ICANN exams and pass. But you must practice questions along with those videos. You must ask questions. I told some of the students last night that, see, watch the videos as many times as possible. And I they had also um, pinpointed that, that, that exactly by saying that it's like music to the ear. By the time you listen to it one or two, two or three times, in fact, once you just see the question and you just remember that I've listened to this before, you just it will just start playing automatically in your head and you just start writing. That is just the truth. A lady wrote five papers with us last night and she passed all of them using just our videos. Maybe she did, she added Pathfinder, practice questions and everything, but she, she sent me a message to let me know that she passed all her five papers. So those are the kind of testimonies that we want to know, that we want to uh, get from you guys. Those are the kind of feedbacks we are hoping to get from you guys. So I said, don't write lengthy notes. Somebody joined our class uh, about some weeks ago and she was like, ah, I hope I've not missed too much. I want to start writing all my notes. And to me, although I didn't tell her anything, but for me, I, thought, I just felt that it's unnecessary. Writing notes, you just take your, your time. You already have the study path already. That has already your notes, number one. Number two, we have also simplified the notes. We have also detailed the notes into small, small notes for you, which are the slides we usually share with you guys on a weekly basis. So there's no need for you to write notes. Writing notes, we just take your time. Watch the videos or read those detailed notes and summarize it. So and like I just said, that would be like a jotter. So you have a small jotter that you can take anywhere. You can put in your back pocket. You can put in your bag. So that any opportunity you now you now have, any five minutes you have, ten minutes. If you are the one that you take bus to the office, if you are not watching the videos, if you don't, have, you are not watching the videos. Why 
going to work, you can just bring out your daughter and start reading your daughter. And that's it, it's as simple as that. And also practice questions. So nobody will laugh at you if you practice, if you send in your solution to the group and you didn't get it right or you made a mistake. The tutor will correct you or a student can also try and correct you. You understand? And you will learn. Those that didn't know too will learn. And I'm even happy that for some courses this diet, a lot of you are participating in practicing questions and submitting in the WhatsApp group. And I encourage more of you to also do that. It is very important. Those feedbacks are very important. We want the group to be interactive. Then number four is that watch IoT videos, which I've, I've said before. Watch IoT videos often. I think this is like one of the most important things you should be doing. Instead of browsing your Instagram, your YouTube, I know many of you found us on YouTube anyway, but you know, yes, YouTube is good, but all those things are good. You should use it to relax once in a while. But the truth is that sometimes when you just say, let me play with Instagram, let me use Instagram, let me watch, see what is happening on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube for like 30 minutes. I'm telling you the truth, you might go on to spend three hours. So please turn off all notifications for your Instagram, for your Facebook, for your, you will have enough time when you pass your exams, when you finish writing your exams, you will have more than enough time to watch Instagram and Facebook to know what's happening. Turn your notification for your WhatsApp, Instagram, and focus on watching the videos. And like I said, don't read only, yeah. Mix it with the videos. If you are the one that, okay, maybe you grab what you want to grab in class, you can go ahead and start reading. So you need the tool to read and to also watch the videos. Then lastly, it's ask questions. Don't be afraid. I noticed some of you, you are afraid to ask questions in class. Please, you have to overcome this fear. You need to ask questions. You need, even if you think that ah, this thing is too simple, if I ask, people will laugh at me. No, they won't laugh at you. We need you to understand everything we are teaching you. The kind of feedback we are looking for is people that, despite their busy schedule, they wrote this exam using our uh, using our videos, using our uh, tuition center, and they passed. Those are the kind of feedback. And we got a lot of it last diet. I can share some of the screenshots with you. Messages I got on WhatsApp, on the YouTube comment section, on our Facebook comment section, on our Instagram comment section. So I want you guys also to benefit from this. So please, please, everything that we've said today, take what you know is easy and will be, uh, will be um, convenient for you and do it, please. Because you work Monday to Saturdays is not an excuse. You can't be that, like one of your tutors, we always say, you can't be dashing ICANN money every diet. That's why we also made some courses that you will study this week, you have the other week to, to watch what you have studied, to learn what you have studied, to practice what you have studied. So some courses are bi-weekly. So take advantage of the time. Because you are saying hey, you are not having a, a, this course this week does not mean that you should go to 101 and there. It's for you to watch the videos, to learn and to practice during that period. I hope I, I have been able to make a wonderful point. I would like to use this opportunity to thank everybody that has participated, most especially the person that um, this all beneficial knowledge and and success in your podcast exams. Thank you. And I really thank you so much for that. Thank you, everybody, for participating. Do have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of your weekend. All the best to everyone. Thank you. Thank you.